One of the biggest challenges is that we as Italians and as uh, interior designers, because most of our practice is about interior design, we design in a very specific way. And even uh, when we do buildings, we do buildings uh, in uh, like they are industrial design objects in a certain way. And building information modeling was uh, developed in the US to do high rise residential and uh, the, those kind of buildings. When you design the building and then you do the interiors of the building, you are dealing with uh, two different contractors. You're dealing with the general contractor and the one who does the fit out. And this is something that is usually not taken into consideration in building information modeling. We like to call interior design the forgotten discipline because you have architecture, you have systems, you have MEP and you have structure, and there really should be interior design because you need to segregate that kind of models, that kind of practice is a different way of designing stuff. So we use the like uh, linked models where you're supposed as a best practice to use groups. We don't use groups because we can't. We can't let the fit out merge with the scope of the interior of the general contractor. So we had to twist it a bit. We had to adapt it to our practice uh, without uh, going against its basic principles.